Okay, our patient, Mr. Drew Warner, has had a nasogastric tube to low intermittent suction for the past two days. And this morning he has bowel sounds and, the, and we've had um, decreased amount of secretions coming out of the, um, of the end nasogastric tube. So the doctor did write an order, I can see Drew Warner, medical record 589135, that and date of birth. He's allergic to morphine and the order is to discontinue the nasogastric tube. So I'm going to take my sticker to identify my patient and I'm going to knock on the door. Go in. Good morning, Mr. Warner. Wash my hands. Okay, um, I'm just going to check your name and identify again. Can you tell me your name? Drew Warner. Okay, and the medical record number is correct. And can you tell me your date of birth, Mr. Warner? 311-1967. Okay, great. And what allergies do you have? Morphine, any tape or any other sensitivities? No? Okay, very good. Well, the good news is the doctor has ordered um, the nasogastric tube to be taken out. So I have my pen light. I'm going to just take a peek here. Look at your nose and your mouth. Okay, everything looks really good. You don't have any redness around the nares from that. You've been tolerating this well. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my suction. And I'm going to put on my gloves. And what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to undo all of the tape and the pin, and then I'm just going to have you take a breath and hold it after I get done confirming placement and irrigating the uh, tube a little bit. And then we'll just take it out very um, steadily and quickly, and you shouldn't feel any discomfort. You may feel the um, tube slipping up through your throat a little bit, but it, it will be very quick and it shouldn't, shouldn't cause any uh, great discomfort. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover you. I have my irrigation syringe and set, and I have my litmus paper, and I have some uh, saline or water so that I can irrigate. I clamp my tube. Okay, very good. Now, before I start real quick I just want to assess your bowel sounds and you don't have any nausea this morning no oh, I'm feeling great okay good oh yeah they're really active and you've been passing gas yes very good okay great so um, first thing I'm going to do sir is I'm going to confirm placement so I just have air, and I have my litmus paper. Ready? Clamp my tube. Start my syringe. Auscultate over the epigastric area. I do it underneath all the claws, ready? Okay, very good. Sounds like it's still in the right place, but I'm gonna confirm it with the pH. So I have some gastric contents here, and yep, highly acidic. Okay, sir. Just for a minute, I'm going to. I've got my saline. It has not expired. Pour it into my irrigation set, and I'm going to draw up 10 milliliters of water or saline. Saline will not change. alter fluid and electrolytes. Okay, so I've got that. And I'm going to inject the 10 mLs. Very good. Okay, and actually I can just leave that on. And, okay, right now I'm going to have you hold your breath. Okay, one, two, three. Hold your breath. Very good. All done. Take that and wrap it. If my syringe needs to go in the sharps per hospital policy, that's where I will put it. Okay. Okay. Very good. And I'm going to provide a little oral care if you'd like that. And your Kleenexes are still right here if you feel like you need to blow your nose. Okay. I'm going to just take another peek again. Everything looks good, no nosebleed, no trauma or anything. You feeling okay? Oh yeah, much better. Okay, great. 
And then I'm gonna give you your swab. I know you can do this by yourself and you can go ahead and swab your mouth out. What I'd like you to do is if you start feeling nauseated at all, please don't wait, put on your call light right away. I'm gonna come back in and check on you, make sure that you still have good bowel sounds, that you're not developing any nausea, you don't start feeling like you're going to vomit again or retch, okay? All right, sir, um, I'll be back in to check with you and put you in the lowest position. Okay, wash my hands and I'll be back. And so when I leave the room, I'm going to go ahead and document that I removed the 16 French um, nasogastric tube from Mr. Warner's left nair, that there was no um, trauma, he tolerated the procedure well, that before I removed the tube, I confirmed placement by auscultation of air and a whoosh over the epigastric area, and then also by testing the pH of the gastric contents, that I irrigated it with 10 mLs of normal saline, and um, that I then, um, the patient tolerated that.